Good morning. It is September. September the 1st. Lift up your calendar. It has changed months and oh my goodness. School's on Wednesday. It's Monday. What is going on? I haven't bought books. I don't have a laptop. I know I said I was prepared, but I don't feel prepared anymore. I don't know, everything's going crazy. <laughs> Morning. Last year we didn't buy our textbooks until like school had already started because we wanted to check with teachers because sometimes teachers tell you don't buy the textbook. So we were kind of waiting last year, which was fine. So that's not what's got me worried. It's the whole stupid laptop issue because I don't want to use a laptop just to use a laptop. It, it's understandable if I'm using the laptop to use a computer to do computery things and be taught that way. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think all of our computer classes will be in a computer room where I will use a computer from the school. And I don't like using a laptop to type notes. I don't like being forced to have a laptop with me in <coughs> class. Yeah, it's kind of I don't like knowing that all my classmates are going to have a laptop on and be on Facebook and Tumblr and social media sites galore. But I have to get one. I'm being forced to get one. But I don't know if I'll even be able to get one because I don't really have the money for a laptop. Yeah, it's mandatory. Yeah. For for mandatory our, for our second year students. Which is so stupid. Baloney. I don't like laptop learning. Yeah. But that is my That's what I don't like. That's what I feel really upset about. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. Not with our programs. It doesn't make sense. Like if you're in like animation Yeah, Rachel was like, forced to get a or like computer Mac. programming or something. If you're in something that is very much like you need to use a laptop, you you always need to be on the computer and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, then it's like, eh, okay. The thing but, is, there's like programs for accounting to do your accounting. There's programs for operations to do all of the things. And that's what we're going to be learning. But unless I'm wrong, I think we're still going to be in computer classrooms learning that stuff and not with laptops. Well, we, we better be because when we went to the school, they had gotten all new computers yeah throughout the school so yep. it's like clearly you're gonna still be using all the computers since you just got new keyboards new computers new monitors new mice <laughs> and now you're just forcing forcing us to use our laptops I don't, know. I don't like having a laptop in class at all and and the thing with the laptops we'll have to have the proper programs which would probably cost a lot of money and they won't get it for us they'll make us buy it but their computers at school will probably have those programs automatically so I really think we're using computers and I think the laptops are useless like we were asked our class about laptop learning yeah they asked us last and we were like first disgusting yeah they, they did like a survey and we're just like so what do you think of us uh, having you know, laptops be mandatory next year and it, like <laughs> 99% of the class, I think, was like, yeah, that's stupid. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. Guess what? They're mandatory. Baloney. So we just finished watching the second Bourne movie, The Bourne Supremacy. And I liked it a lot more than the first one. It was a lot more entertaining, I found. And I don't know. The first one is a setup movie, um, I guess. Um, but the big problem that I have with it is the love story and I don't know why they include love stories in action movies like my line of thinking for them is an action movie is an action movie so guys are interested in it and then they add this romance section so they can try and get girls into it as well because you want a movie that can hit all four uh, things male female young old that's the split and then I guess the action part of it hits both boys' sides as long as it's not rated too high that a younger child can't see it. And then girls like romance, but 
I don't want romance in my action movies. I just want action in my action movies because it, the first one, it really just took away from everything and I just felt it was boring and it dragged on. But then, spoilers, in this one, she gets killed off pretty fast, so I'm like, yes! Because I'm really, really mean. But it really helps the story actually be something else because the first one was all just boring and romance but the character changed her mind all the time and I just didn't like it so yes and we're going to watch the third one because I'm very interested in how he gets dragged into something again and I want to watch it so we might as well finish the trilogy that's what we're doing and so the one thing that I am now worried about when watching this third movie is that there's going to be romance in it because the first movie had it, the second movie, they couldn't have it because he's getting over the fact that his uh, lover just died. But they could have a female lead that he falls in love with in the third movie. But I don't know if that'll happen. I'm hoping not, crossing my fingers. I'm hoping it's just as action-packed as this last one that I just watched. So we shall see. Arthur is also very interested in these movies. He's interested in the movie that's playing outside, actually, called Real Life. He's way too interested in real life. Way too interested. We watched the third Born movie, Born Ultimatum. And what'd you think? And, and there was no romance. Yay for action. <laughs> yeah. There was hints of romance from the past. Uh -huh. But they were but, like, like it was just, swept away. Yeah. It's just like, go away. Mm -hmm. But I liked the agent girl a lot more than I liked Miss Random from the first one. Yeah. Because um, she at least knows how to do stuff because she's an agent herself. Yeah. So it was a lot neater. Her character's a lot more cool. multi dimensional. I like her. Mm -hmm. I liked her from the first movie. And you're glad that they kept bringing her back? Yeah. Yeah. She's interesting, so mm. it was nice to see. But it's a good set of movies. I think I do like the second one the most. Sean really? likes the third one the most. Yeah. But it, I think I like the second one the most. It's weird. Like, go back, like, five years ago or whatever, when I, like, watched all three of them. Yeah. Like, in, like, in, like, the same day. Yeah. I probably would have told you I liked the first one the most. Ugh, gross. Yeah, and probably liked the third one the least. Yeah. And now it's, I definitely like the third one the most, and you then the second one. You liked romance before, but now that you have I romance think, in your own I don't, life. I don't think it was the romance of it, because you're right, the romance is just, it totally distracts and takes away from what's entertaining about the movie. I think I liked... The origin story kind yeah. of thing. I like him, like, when he, like, discovers, he's like, whoa, I can do stuff. I think that stuff's really cool. I really like the scene where he's in, like, the diner, and he's like, I know all the license plates, and I can take that guy, and, blah, 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 and like, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think, like, there's, there's some scenes like that that are really cool. The whole thing at, like, the farmhouse, kind of near the end. Like, the first movie's got a lot of good scenes. Um, but overall, I think it's just, it's the, it is the weaker film. I think a lot of it is more kind of, it's the first one, so I generally give the first one more credit than it probably deserves. Like with lots of movies, I tend to do that. It's like, oh, it's the first one, so it's better. But yeah, the, the third one's probably my favorite. You like the second one. But overall... Overall, really good trilogy. I'm very interested in its journey. Yeah. It was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. I liked the ending. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. I liked I liked all of it. I yeah. think it's really, really, really well done. It was good. And it was good because you like kind of like spy type movie type thingy my bobs. I like spy and action and espionage and like super awesome people that can do all these things. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> like that. That's what he does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's a... Uh, it's a good set of films. Good movies, and I'm, I'm glad we watched them. And I'm glad you enjoyed them. Me too. Alright guys, only one more day of freedom till we go back to school. <laughs> Time to get some sleep, okay? Okay. Good night, guys.